So guys, my adventure to find the ultimate Fortnite mobile experience has taken a long time. I started with the Galaxy S9 Plus, got scammed, found out Android for Fortnite doesn't quite exist yet. Then I went to the iPhone 10. Fortnite works on the iPhone 10, but I just don't like the experience. Very small screen, I don't like the tactile or lack of tactile feedback on the touch screen. Some people get really good at it. I personally just don't like the experience. I thought maybe the screen was too small. So I tried a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Too big and still no tactile feedback. There's no gamepad support yet. So I just don't like the experience. I went a totally different route. Still looking for a mobile Fortnite experience. I went as extreme as getting my PlayStation 4, setting up via remote play to my PlayStation Vita. You can even see that I have a special case on it because the L2 and R2 buttons don't exist on the Vita and you have to use the touchpad on the back. I made a video about that, so that it was almost the ultimate Fortnite mobile experience, but having to add the special accessory just kind of ruins that. So here is everything I have tried. In the palm of my hands, a lot of money to try to find the ultimate mobile Fortnite experience. We're gonna set that down so I don't break it. Little did I know during my shenanigans, during all of that, Fortnite for the Switch was being worked on. There was actually rumors of it coming out at E3 as I was making some of these videos. People were commenting that, no, the Switch is the ultimate mobile Fortnite experience. If everything that people are saying is true, I better pick up a Switch just to play Fortnite. Is that really worth it? So right here, I have the Switch. I bought it for Fortnite. I bought it today. I have not bought any other games, but Fortnite, Fortnite's free, so there you go. Life hack, how to get free games for the Switch. Just buy the Switch and get Fortnite. Stupid life hack, never mind. But yeah, I'm loving how it plays so far. Obviously the controls are so much better than the iPhone and the iPad. Obviously it's so much better than remote play on the PlayStation Vita because there's more buttons. It's actually like you're playing live. It's not remote play, you're not streaming it. The controls are good. There's so many different ways you can play it. You can connect this to your TV and just play it like a normal console. You can play it in your hand like this. You can take the Joy-Cons off like this. You can play like this. You can connect the Joy-Cons to this and play like this, which I think is my most comfortable method. The only thing left to do is just show you my sucky gameplay. Keep in mind I suck at Fortnite. This is the first time I'm playing on the Switch. First time playing Fortnite for the Switch, so I don't even get one kill. If you want to see me do horrible, just watch some of this footage. And just so you guys are aware, like I'm not a known Fortnite gamer. I just play it for fun. I make, make Fortnite videos that are more technically based. I don't hear the chest now, of course not. But there should be one over here. Um, what? There's always been a chest there. Oh my god, I hear somebody. Maybe I just need to quit dropping at my place that I thought was my place, but everyone else just goes to now anyway. But I am hard-headed and, and I'm gonna do it again because that's just what I do. We're, creat we're uh, creatures that like comfort and these freaking farms give me comfort. Yeah, and it should be right here. I hear it. Guys, finally, all my years of practice paid off. Yes. I don't want a freaking minigun, but oh well. I feel like it takes too far long to start up. Another one? Yes, this is my game. Yes. I 
I don't want, I'm not good at sniping. I'm just gonna complain about everything. I mean, if anything, I'm the most like well-stocked person, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, the controls are amazing compared to trying to play it on the Vita. Like you can actually run, you press this down to crouch, you press this button right here, you hold it to run. I keep wanting to tap for the map. I feel like that'd be so much more intuitive than trying to press here. I did hear, oh shit. Should I start trying to build? Yes, look at my pro moves. Was that someone actually shooting me or is it just like, or did I shoot my own gun? Y'all are like shook by my building skills. The one thing is like the screen is smaller and I'm far away cause I'm filming and I can't really see where the hell, heck that came from. Okay, so we're gonna try this method right here with this controller. I think I might actually do better. Like it feels, it feels a lot more like natural in the hand. I don't, and it's also a lot easier to play with when I'm recording. I need to play with headphones too. Oh my God, guys, I almost like killed somebody, but he's building, so he's like serious. Oh my God, he's like building like a maniac. Uh, ugh, this is annoying. I'm getting better. <laughs> I like that I can just like have this on my desk. As you can see, like it's on my desk with my computer. So I can just keep it here, have like a quick game in between, you know, I don't know, what do I do? Between video edits. <laughs> so I think the problem with Fortnite for the Switch, if you don't play on a big screen TV like this, I feel like you are always going to be, um, it's gonna be an unfair thing. If you're playing on a smaller screen on the Switch, I feel like the people that have the bigger TVs will be able to take advantage of you. And that's the thing with the Switch, you can do it on a TV, you can do it handheld, you can do it so many different ways. So, I mean, ultimately it's up, it's up to what works best for you, but there's gonna be no way to specif specify on a game, like, hey, I wanna do no TV docking, like that's not possible. I mean, it would be a miracle if I could kill somebody, like one person and get first place. That way I don't look dumb making this YouTube video. And this is what I'm saying guys, like you don't even need to be good at a first person shooter to enjoy Fortnite. You can just play casually like me, where you just build and hope for the best. You think 10 people are gonna be left before the countdown goes to zero. Oh gosh. This is probably gonna bring like people closer to me too. Cause the storm's moving in. Okay, my technique's getting boring. I'm tired of this. I wanna go die. Oh my god, he's building like crazy. Oh my gosh. I got sniped. Who is this? Stop sniping me. <laughs> uh, top three. Didn't kill anybody. So there we go guys. Do I regret buying the Switch just for in Fortnite considering how bad I suck? The answer is no, because I will get better and I enjoy playing Fortnite no matter what. Also, there's a ton of cool games coming out for the Switch. I'm actually looking forward to the new Pokemon games coming out for the Switch because I don't think they're making them for the 3DS anymore. So I had to pick this up for that anyway. I still need to play Mario. I need to get Legend of Zelda. So I have a lot of games to make this really worth it. If you are like a huge, huge, huge Fortnite player and you just love it and you wanna be able to just play on your couch or 
take it to a hotel and play where there's good Wi-Fi and you just love Fortnite that much and you think Fortnite is worth spending $300 on for this console, go ahead, but it's not like someone's gonna buy a console just for one game. You're going to find other games that are worth it. It's just kind of funny, Fortnite is what prompted me to get it on the Switch just because through the past few months, I've been trying to find the best Fortnite experience to go. And this is definitely it. Nintendo and, and Epic Games finally just solved all my problems for me. It's, it's very simple. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big like. We have to get to like a trillion likes to help me pay for the Switch I just bought today. And if you're not subscribed already, consider doing so. I make new videos all the time. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. Where are we at right now? We are at 66,000 subscribers. So <laughs> pretty close to 100,000, but I just need a little bit more help. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, but I already said that. I'm rambling. Have a good night. Bye.